This is the home page of the quilt calculator. It's quiltnotes.com. And this video will show you the updates and additions for this week. We're going to start by going down to website timeline and you'll see all these are in date order, all of the new additions. So we'll start with the Star Rings quilt tutorial. And this is a calculator and it's a quilt that I had done, I think about two years ago. And there's a video on the original one and you can download the instructions for this size quilt. But the calculator I have here, you can make any size quilt you like. So you would first go to the design and size of quilt, and that is under calculators. And here is design and size of quilt. So the additions I've made for this week is I've included borders that you can add up to five different borders. The calculations will give you fabric requirements and cutting instructions for side pieced borders or for mitered borders as well. So let's just scroll down to here to the calculator itself. And here you can see that you have the choice, the option to add one to five borders or no borders. It's up to you. First, we'll add the block size, the block finished size. And let's just say this size is nine inches. So we'll put nine inches in the width and the length and the blocks across and the blocks down. Let's put five across and seven down. And we just play with these numbers to see what size quilt we want. But we can see that this will make a 45 by 63 inch quilt. And we'll go with that for now. And it also tells you the total number of blocks. And this is what you'll need to take to the quilt calculator for the individual quilts. It also gives you information for the binding fabric and the backing fabric for both 45 inch wide and 108 inch wide. I moved the backing fabric up so all the results will be at the top if you don't want any sashing or cornerstones or borders. So let's add a sash. We'll put two inches for the sash and let's add two borders. Let's put a three inch border and a five inch border. And we'll scroll down to see the results. So now it, the block size is changed, it's bigger. The total number of blocks is the same because we just added sashing and cornerstones and borders. The binding fabric has gone up because the quilt is bigger and the backing fabric is more now as well. So in the sashing without cornerstones, this is how much fabric you need. And this is how you cut the horizontal and vertical sashings for that. If you want sashing with cornerstones, this is the fabric and the cutting instructions for the sashing, and here is for the cornerstone fabric. And now at the bottom, we have our borders. We put in border one and border two, and it gives you the crosswise cuts and the lengthwise cuts. So that's what's added for this calculator. And let's move on up to here, and we'll see we need the total number of blocks is 35. And we're going to take that to our Star Rings Quilt, which is the new quilt for this week. We'll go up to Quilts, click on Quilts, and move down here. And here is the Star Rings. We'll click on this. This is the calculator for the Star Rings Quilt. And remember, we needed 35 blocks, so keep that in your mind. There are two different blocks here. And one is the double nine patch, and one is what I call the Amazing Star. This just gives you some information. Here is the original video I made. It tells you how to piece these two blocks and it includes instructions for making this quilt. Here is some information about rotary cutting. This quilt calculator uses the Easy Quilting Tri-Rex tool if you're rotary cutting. And then I recommend the Stripology ruler to cut your strips. For AccuQuilt cutting, we have two different strip dies, the one and a half inch and the three and a half inch. And then here are the dies that will make the triangle and square units. These two individual ones, will, one will make the center and one makes the sides. And this one will make both pieces at the same time. So let's just go down here. 
This talks about choosing fabric, but if you watch the video, I, I talk about choosing fabric and I talk a lot about low volume prints. And here is how you piece the star rings blocks. There are the two blocks with the patches numbered or lettered. So these are the A patches. This is the B patch. Here's D, C, C reversed, and E patches. Here are the individual units. They all finish at three inches. Here is the nine patch unit, the plain block unit, and the tri rec unit. This talks about the nine patches are strip pieced, and you make two strip sets. So strip set one has two accent fabrics and one background fabric, and strip set two has two background fabrics and one accent fabric. And your results from this calculator will tell you how many strip one sets you need and how many strip two sets you need. So that's what that is talking about. Before we look at the star rings calculator, I wanted to mention something I forgot to tell you. So I'm going to scroll all the way up to the top. And this quilt has two blocks. So when we calculated with the other, the design a quilt calculator, it said we needed 35 blocks. If you look at the star blocks, in every corner of the four corners, there are star blocks. And then the other, the double nine patch blocks alternate between the two. And when you look at this from a distance or you kind of squint your eyes, you'll see that the stars make rings. And it's making the curve effect, but with just straight lines. So I think it looks better if you have symmetry in these. So you want to have an odd number of rows across and an odd number of rows down, of blocks down. So if we take 35 blocks, I'm going to say that 18 are going to be star blocks and 17 are going to be double nine patch blocks. And we'll use those numbers in this calculator. So let me scroll down here. Now here's the star rings calculator. Then all you need to put in here is the number of nine patch blocks, which we said was 17. And the number of star blocks is 18. So 17 plus 18 is 35, and that gives us our 35 blocks. This is just different than normal because there are two blocks in this quilt instead of just one block. So I've put these numbers in here, and you can see that the results are already here. The total fabric requirements for your accent fabric is this, about one and a half yards, a little more. Background fabrics is about three yards. And here are the nine patch units. So you'll have to make 85 of the nine patch units. So you'll make six of the strip set one and three of the strip set two. Then you'll subcut those and make your nine patch units with that. Here are the accent fabrics for that and the background fabric for that, for the nine patch units. Now you have the plain patches, which are just plain squares you'll cut. The accent fabric, this is what you'll need for the star block. And the background fabric, you'll need this for the double nine patch block and this for the star block. So you're just simply cutting squares here. For the triangle and square units, you'll need to make 72. Here's the accent fabric for these patches for the star block. It tells you how to do it, how to cut them if you're rotary cutting or using the AccuQuilt. And the same with the background fabric for patch D, which is the star block. So that's the new calculator for a quilt this week. And then you have your updates to your design and size of quilt. And what you do in all cases is you always start with the design and size of quilt because you want to see how big your quilt's going to be. And you'll need to know the number of blocks to put into these. Actually, they're, they're quilt calculators, but they're just calculating the block information because the sizing of quilt gives you information for borders and sashings and bindings and backings. So now let's look at the the last thing that was updated this week and it has to do with AccuQuilt. I've added another um, group of the cube dies. This time I've added cube size 10 inch. The 10 inch cube is here now right here and they're in order in size order. The only one I have left is the five inch, so that will probably be next week.
and you just click on here and it will take you to the mix and match which is the eight die set and you have individual calculators for each of the dies so for this square if you wanted a five inch finished square you needed 12 of them you just put 12 in the box and it gives you the fabric you need and the cutting instructions for that so that's it for this week thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and while you're at it click the bell to be notified of future videos